Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kelvin Krupiak, and today we're gonna to be breaking down the gentleman's cut. Now, first things first, I do wanna give a huge thank you to my friend Josh for allowing me to film. You're gonna find a link down below in the description to his Instagram if you guys wanna connect with him. The guy does an amazing job. Now, the gentleman's cut is a classic men's hairstyle that provides a lot of versatility, and it's appropriate for essentially all men. When you're discussing the style with your barber, you're gonna request a gentleman's cut with tapered sides from a 0.5 or a half up to a two. This is what I did in the video. You can adjust the length accordingly if you wanna start with a two and go up to a four. That's totally personal preference. Tapered is the one word you absolutely need to remember when requesting this haircut. The top of your head is gonna be layered, but everything else, tapered. Remember, tapered. What I really like about this classic hairstyle too is that it grows out into something very manageable. The way I get the sides and the back tapered as well as the top layered, everything grows out in a very functional way. So if you'd like to extend the lifespan of this haircut, then it's totally feasible. And here you get a really good example of how the back is being tapered into the top. Lots of really good blending has to take place with a proper gentleman's cut. And so here we are right now, Josh is breaking down the length of the top of my hair. It was sitting right around five inches, and we're gonna cut that down to about three, three and a half inches. Both a combination of bringing down the overall length as well as the layering is what's gonna allow me to get the volume that I want with my haircut. I have very thin and fine hair, so if I have too much length or there's not enough layering that's been done properly, it's hard for me to get the volume that I'm looking for. Then we have some final edging at the top of my forehead just to help improve the overall symmetry of the haircut. And here at Vincent's, before they actually wash your hair, they give you a complimentary hot towel treatment, which I don't believe does anything for the haircut itself, but it is pretty darn relaxing. Now after the hair has been washed and dried properly, we're actually gonna head back to the chair and apply one of my favorite products, which is Lockhart's. Now Josh blow dried the hair completely and then applied the product, which is gonna allow me to get a more slicked back look. What I also like to do with my hair is apply the product when my hair is actually damp, as well as a thickening tonic. Now at the end of this section of the video, I'm actually gonna show you guys how I style it with a week of growth after the haircut. Now here you'll also see him using a metal pick, which is gonna help separate the hair and allow the product to mold in much easier. And there we have it, let's take a final look at the sides and back because again, this hairstyle is all about the taper of the sides and the back of your head. And now what I'm gonna do is show you guys exactly how I style it a week after I've gotten my hair cut. Now the first thing I like to do in the morning before styling my hair is I hop into the shower real quick just to wet and reset the hair itself. And then I towel dry the hair and the first thing I apply while my hair is still damp is the Aveda Thickening Tonic. I've tried a number of different thickening tonics and this is my absolute favorite so far. Now again, while the hair is still damp, I spray it twice and then I work it in with my hands. And then I'm gonna start blow drying my hair on the low and warm settings. When I'm using a blow dryer, I never go hotter than warm. The less heat I'm introducing to my hair, the better. And this is really just to help the hair tonic absorb into the hair as well as help me start shaping the general style. Now after I've done a little bit of general shaping with the brush and blow dryer, I'm going to blow my hair the opposite direction that I would normally style it just to help stimulate the roots of the hair. Stimulating the roots of your hair to the best of your ability is going to really help you achieve that volume. And you can see there's a lot of volume already added to my hair. Now we're ready to introduce the product. And I'm actually using Bird, which is a random product that I just stumbled across at Target, which is really surprising for me. It is a matte pomade and it is completely water soluble and I've been testing it out for the last two months and I'm very pleased with the results. 
So the first thing we're gonna do is emulsify that product. We really wanna warm it up in between our hands. And then to make sure I'm applying the product as thoroughly as possible, I always start from the back moving forward and then from the forward moving back. And also true to its name, there's not a lot of shine going on, which I'm personally a big fan of. When there's too much shine introduced from a product, the hair just looks way too greasy in my opinion. Once we've evenly applied the product, we're going to reintroduce the hairbrush and the blow dryer. And you can see exactly how I'm pulling into and lifting the hair as I blow dry it. Again, making sure that I'm on warm, not hot. And once I have the shape exactly how I want, I'm gonna use my hands to fine tune the style any ways that I see fit. And there you have it guys, that's really all I have to talk about when it comes to the gentleman's cut. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please do leave a like right down below and subscribe to the channel. Any products used in this video are gonna be linked in the description down below. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon, bye.